Right, for all you guys that are following the channel, this is the first vlog for the FL5. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and tint it. Lumar Formula One, best tint in the world. I opted out for the Strato series, which is the highest line Lumar offers in the ceramic series. It's a multi-layer film. I just don't wanna go in and make it like a commercial, you guys, but this is the best film in the world. I opted out for the 35% because I kinda of wanna show off the interior. Such a gorgeous interior, you guys. This is gonna absorb all the heat and keep it out of the vehicle, and it's gonna keep me looking pretty fresh. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and separate all the film, all this excess from the material that we need. And it's already pre-cut out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and uh, take the weather stripping out here so that we can get the film tucked up behind here. So it's pretty easy. Civics are pretty easy to take apart. So I'm, home, I'm thinking the FL5 is the same too, you guys. So these are pretty much built all the same. I'm gonna rock this back. There you go. All right, so up next, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, and we're just gonna throw it in. Enjoy it, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it all, just in case there's any like debris or anything like that that's on this, that sticks to the glass. And of course, this one, the FL5, doesn't have any like kind of coating or anything like that that we don't have to worry about, unlike the new Toyotas and Lexus, and there's a coating on it that once you, uh, you, you scrape it, you're pretty much, you, you, you're you replacing the glass. And the key to a clean job is you have to clean it. It's in your prep. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and go over here and pick up the film. back over here. Try to get as close as I can here. Just like that. So it looks OEM. OEM. Just like that. You're gonna attack it. For all you guys that are following me all these years, I do uh, do window tinting and paint protection for a living. And I, I did some calculations uh, for me to walk away from my job and do YouTube for a living full time. I'd have to have like at least a million, probably at least a million subscribers, you guys, just to, just to do the math. Um, maybe a couple more, a couple million, a couple million. It takes a lot for me to walk away from this job. I do enjoy it, I love it, and uh, it allows me to do YouTube stuff like this. I've been doing it for many years, and I still enjoy it till this day. And that's it. And it didn't go very dark, it's 35, like I said, but this is a Lumar Straddle series. It outperforms any, any film on the market. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the trim back in, and uh, we're done this window. We're gonna go move to the next one.
Some of you guys that are watching right now are probably like, it's pretty crazy how that uh, that trim just came out. Like, it's, I don't know if it's called cheap or just good engineering where things just come out really, really easy compared to like, let's say German vehicles, where you have to take like a million screws out just to get to the uh, the trim. I think it's, for me, it's a lot easier. Uh, it's not cheaply built, it just, I think it's just pretty smart, <laughs> is, is the word. So again, with this one, we're gonna move on. I noticed that the back of this one is not as soft as the front one. And on the FL5, it lights up here on the front, but I noticed that uh, there's nothing here, there's no light on the back. So I'm gonna probably mod this out where I'm gonna see if this is the same trim as the front one. Maybe we can get the rear one to light up too. I'll do a future vlog on that if I do decide to uh, change that out, you guys. But first things first, same thing. We're gonna pop this out. We can't remove this trim yet until we move the we uh, remove the top here first. It comes right out. Same thing, go ahead and clean it. And it's, the key to a good tint job is in your cleaning. The better your cleaning is, the better your job's gonna turn out. It's so nice to work on a new vehicle. It's, everything comes out so much cleaner. There are days that I work on vehicles. It's amazing how I, you, you, you name it, it's, it's in the vehicle. Like everything from dirty diapers to like chicken nuggets to just whatever you can think of, I've seen in the vehicle. People live, like literally, people live in their vehicles, you guys. Like it's, it's amazing. I'm pretty sure the people that do detailing for a living has probably seen worse than I have. But the worst case for me, worst case, is when people that have, that own pets, pets that love to drool all over the vehicle. Of course, they bring it into me to clean before installing the tent. And it's the slobber, the dog slobber is like caked. It's like thick, thick, and it's disgusting. And same thing with the rear. People like to keep their dogs in the rear. And of course, in the back, it's like a rug. Full, it's like a, it looks like a rug, but it's not. It's just dog hair everywhere. Sounds kind of cruel, but man, when I hop in back there to tint the back window, it's just, yeah. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to dogs or anything like that, because that would have been a nightmare. Would have been exactly like a nightmare, you guys. Okay, we're ready for the second window. Looks pretty easy. I do get that a lot, you guys. A lot of people ask, or a lot of people comment that I make it look so easy and they try it themselves and it's not as easy as they, uh, I made it look like. But again, I've been doing this for years, like almost 20 some years, you guys. And uh, yeah, never gets old, I guess, because uh, you always get different cars all the time, different cars and different characters and uh, enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Just gonna bump out all the water so that uh, there's no excess water or excessive amount of water to uh, cure. So it cures a lot faster. Once we're done, go ahead and uh, throw the trim back in. Just like that. And then we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and pop this trim. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna tint the other side and uh, I'll be right back to you guys. Sides are all done and it's just, just perfect the way I want it. Uh, I didn't want it way too dark. I still wanted to show off that beautiful interior. If you guys haven't had a chance to actually see one, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. But yeah, that's what I wanted. Easy to see out. But still got that sexy dark look. Next up is the fun window, the rear one. Most of it, uh, 
Most of you guys probably can't do it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And uh, well, just, I'll make it look really easy, guys. So yeah, let's get right to it. With the new FL5, it's so much easier to tint. Um, if you guys are familiar with the FL, uh, the FK8, they have that spoiler across and it's really, really a pain in the ass to uh, tint. You have to take everything apart just to get to it, to make the install so much easier. But this one, what we have to do is just, we're gonna remove the wiper, get it out of the way, and it's one simple step. If not, I'm just gonna just make life a little simple. I'm just gonna move it out of the way just enough. And then uh, we'll grab a towel, we'll lay this down here so this doesn't scratch, just like that. And now it's out of the way. We're gonna roll it on. You're gonna anchor it. In the tint world, this is called the H, but we're gonna make it really simple. Let me tell you, the FL5 is way, way easier to tint than the FK8. There's nothing in the way, even for heating down. The window is not as curvy. Let me just double check if you guys can see me. Yeah, let me just move you guys in here a little closer. There you go, that's much better, eh? So this film's a quite, quite a bit thicker because like I said, it's like multi-layer. So there's a lot of layers of film in there. So it takes a little longer, a little bit more patience to shrink down. But again, this FL5 is so much easier to tint than the FK8. Walk in the park compared to the older generation. The spoiler comes in handy. There you go. It's amazing how pre-cuts uh, save so much more time and just more efficient uh, for window tinting these days. It's a game, definitely a game changer. Because right now we'll be uh, using a good old flashlight and cutting out the back window. Someone would have to hold it for me, either that or I'll just have to like hop in and out, in and out of the vehicle to move the light every time I need to adjust it so I can see the, 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 you know, the black border. But uh, with pre-cut, game changer, you guys. All right, so the fun part is up next. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in. Before we do that, we wanna probably protect this. We wanna protect the interior. So, I'm gonna uh, cover this up here. Top first. Because right now, if we had the FK8, we'd be still taking part, taking things apart right now. If you've done it many times, um, it's a lot quicker. But if you're, you know, not familiar with Hondas, yeah, you'd be still probably taking it apart right now. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wipe down everything. All right, so that's pretty much it for this week's vlog, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this, the tint just makes the championship white just pop even more. It says something about tint, just brings out the color in the car and just makes it pop that much extra. So next week, we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna paint protect the FL5 before it hits the streets. I just don't want any kind of chips and stuff like that. And of course, the product that we're gonna use is Lumar. That film is that much better than any other film on the market. I know it sounds like a repetitive broken record, but it just, 
track record proven, just that good of a film. There's one other thing I want to do. I already started by cutting out the film. You guys might see that there's a lot of black accents on the FL5. So instead of just putting a regular film on, Lumar has developed this film, this black paint protection. So far, it's fantastic, you guys. Let me show you. So I already started cutting out the pillars. Look at like all these little pieces, the mirrors. This is the air dam. These are the rockers, as you can see. And uh, a lot of accent pieces here, like this piece here. This piece is for the rear bumper. Uh, I already installed the front ones. I bet you can't even tell it's there, eh? If you look carefully right there, you see there's a, the line. I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. That just adhesive that just at the end of the film. But, hey, okay, there's some little bubbles there just because I just freshly installed it to test it. And yeah, it's that good, you guys. See, it's on this piece too here, this whole entire piece. I didn't do this piece yet, uh, but those other big pieces up there is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do all these ones. And when I do that, I'm gonna go show you guys next week. So be sure to tune in for next week, you guys. Yeah, you guys probably don't wanna miss it. It's, yeah, it's phenomenal film. If you have a FL5 that you wanna protect, this is the film you wanna do it. Or even just any car with black trims, this is the film you wanna install. So don't miss out next week's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification so you won't miss the next vlog. So that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.